This is two minutes in the will of God. In today's text, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 13 to 15. I also saw under the sun this example of wisdom that greatly impressed me. There was once a small city with only a few people in it. And a powerful king came against it, surrounded it, and built huge siege works against it. Now there lived in that city a man poor but wise, and he saved the city by his wisdom. But nobody remembered that poor man. One thing I would want you to observe today is the wisdom of the poor man. If the poor man is wise, then why is he poor? He most probably has the wisdom to make money. Why does he not enforce it? I have heard many pastors preach and said things like, do not take advice from uh, people who are poor if you want to be rich. It sounds good. It sounds nice. But guess what? That is not biblical wisdom. That is worldly wisdom. That is how the world thinks. Kingdom wisdom or biblical wisdom will praise differently from worldly wisdom. Let no one deceive you that someone who has not made it in life cannot advise you. That is a lie. Some man, uneducated, can give you an advice that can solve your multi-million problem. Which part of the Bible said only someone with 40 years of marriage experience is qualified to do marriage counseling? That is secular wisdom. In Christ, anyone full of the wisdom of God and the Holy Spirit, well vested in what the Bible teaches about marriage, can counsel you for marriage. That single mother who is a divorcee can advise you on how to ensure that you do not end up like her. I am not a banker, but the Holy Spirit can inspire me to give you a direction as a bank manager which will turn the fortunes of your bank to prosperity. Those who are not remembered, those who society may not respect, those who are seen as failures in church because they are single at 40 and struggling to now rent a single room, they can also advise the church. Sometimes their advice could be far better than that of the respected big men in the church. Humble yourself to wisdom and do not discard advice simply because of whom it is coming from. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.